perspective it really is a big deal it is the determining factor for the way that we live our life it is always based on our perspective someone can make a post and 20 different people can read the post and have 20 different takes on what the author may have meant in their writing but what's really transpiring is coming from each of the 20 people, each of their perspective is what's really running the show. That's what I want to talk about today, perspective. If this is your first time listening in, I am Tanya Wilson, also known as The Growth Strategist, Master Life, and Business Coach. I help women just like you create lifestyles they love, grow businesses that fund their lifestyle and not run their lifestyle. I operate from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building. Those are my lanes. I absolutely love it. And I'm grateful for the space I get to exist in. I was having a conversation with a client who is I don't know if I've seen this type of work ethic before other than with my dad. And yes, this is a, a male client. And so I do believe that God has simply created them differently for different reasons. And I believe that they are purposely given a drive if it has not been tainted or tattered or stained um, that just cannot be healthily matched um, by their female companions, by women, right? Women and men. And even in that, even though I feel that God has designed men to really work at a different frequency, than women, I still believe that it makes absolute perfect sense to work smarter and not harder. But either way, we talked about their work ethic in the process of helping them to see that things could be done differently in their business. And um, they mentioned perspective. They mentioned when you have gained everything that you have. And when I say this, I'm talking about someone who's reached millionaire status uh, many times over. Um, and you've gotten it a certain way. You, your perspective is that that is how you will have to continue getting it. And although this was a male that was sharing his perspective and, and his journey, I mean, I believe that that is a universal thought that is a universal truth that however you got it is often how you feel you have to be in order to keep it and i do believe that irregardless of whether you have systems in your business that help you to run your business more smoothly and efficiently with less of your effort i still believe that your work ethic and your ambition still needs to be at a really high level. Now, I need you all to hear me and um, just bring me your mind for this part. What I mean by that is not that you are hustling harder or chasing the bag more because of your ambition, because of your work ethic, but you have a perspective that you have to give maximum value. And that is not always equated with t the amount of time that you have to put into it or the amount of energy that you have, have to exert into it, but the amount of value that you produce with said thing, whatever you, it is that you're doing within your business. And that's a completely different perspective. So I always believe in ambition. I work with highly ambitious women. I was listening to, man, a um, 
a session, a live coaching session from 2018 from my 3D Success Academy. And there were about maybe 15 women on this particular call. Well, 3D Success was actually an eight-week boot camp originally. It's now a year-long academy. But in this particular session, one of the alumni was saying that every month she has at least 15 new people reaching out to her in her business. And I mean, she's always um, has a full book uh, of um, appointments scheduled. She's a wellness coach now, was um, a beauty business owner prior, still owns the business as well. But either way, um, in that same session, my mentor was on. And it was such a beautiful conversation, just being able to listen back what um, we're in 2024 when you hear this. So just being able to listen back six years and hear myself even and saying, oh gosh, I, I wouldn't do that now, right? Or I wouldn't say that in that way now because I've evolved, I've grown. The information was still extremely valuable though. It was classic that we all were sharing I just, you know, saw areas that I have evolved and, and grown. And so my perspective, hear me, at that particular time was different than it is now. Whereas I understand that I can be just as impactful in a different way. And so I wanted to talk to you about perspective today because it is our mindset. And oftentimes, especially in our community, we feel that if it doesn't involve struggle or if it is not hard, um, it's just not going to work. That's our belief. And there has to be a significant change in the thought process before we are actually positioned to call something else in before we're positioned to attract something that flows into our life with less of our effort, before we even embrace the concept of earning money while we sleep or earning money, um, more money even, with less of our effort. Because more, most people, the thought, the perspective on earning more money is always on working harder. And a lot of that for us, comes as a flight or fight, um, a fight or flight process that's going on in our minds. We're, we're accustomed to being in fight or flight mode where we either shut all the way down or we go super, super hard and rarely have that neutrality that allows ease and flow to come into our life. But all of it is based on perspective. I was on a call. I had a client to recently sign up for a VIP growth strategy day. And we were on a virtual call and I shared with her, if you think you can, you will. If you think you can't, you won't. Now, super, super ambitious, but I saw small mindsets, even in her drive and ambition. Now, listen, when I tell you she's ambitious, look, this is a young, fresh 20-year-old. Number one, that was willing to invest on that level. Those investments are 6K, right? Mm -hmm. But also who is so thorough and has thought this thing out and has been moving and shaking in other areas in their life already. I mean, ambition through the roof. Actually, I know when I say energy is transferable, I know that to be true because she transferred some of the energy to me. <laughs> and I tell you guys all the time, energy is transferable. And this is why I'm so mindful about the presence that I sit in and rest in or that I even give my presence to. I share with her even that she needed to understand how valuable her energy was. Right, not just her skill sets and the things that she's learned, but her energy is even a commodity. And when you understand that your energy is a commodity, 
when you understand that people's lives change and flourish and prosper just when they're in your presence, when they're in your energy, when they can hear your words, when you're given an opportunity to speak into their life, their entire life changes. When you understand the type of energy that you bring, <laughs> your perspective changes about the work that you do in the world. It changes completely. And so I'm going to make this brief on today and ask you, what is your perspective on everything that you're doing? Your vision, the business that you're running now, uh, possibility for you, what's going to transpire in the next few years? Because I'm willing to bet that your perspective, especially about what's going on with things outside of you, is running the show. It's determining whether or not you do the thing in this season. Are you waiting to see what the world going to do? Is your perspective so focused on what's coming up in the next week or two in our nation? Are you focused within or on everything external? And if you've been focusing more, if your perspective of what you do in your life is based more on what's going on outside of you, I want you to think about this for a moment. How many times has the world been in a similar space that they're in right now? And you made it through. <laughs> How many times have things seemingly looked challenging in the world space? over the years that you spent on this earth and you made it through. And I love uh, the scripture that says, do business until he comes. Now I took hold to that really. And it allows me to still move and have my being and despite what's going on outside of me, I'm still doing business till he comes. That's my take on today. What is your perspective, be it relationships, love, money, your business, your health, your life, your children. What's your perspective? Because that's what's running the show. And if you think you can, you will. If you think you can't, you won't. That's my take on today. If you're looking for added support, I would love the opportunity to support you. I have numerous ways to offer you ways to work with me via private sessions. I have um, a power hour. I have identity sessions. I have VIP growth strategy days. And there are also monthly private opportunities to work with me. And then there is my amazing 3D Success Academy for Women in Business, which is a year-long self-study course that includes monthly live coaching with me. It's an absolutely amazing opportunity for women in business. If you want to understand who you really are as a brand, you want to understand your business on a different level, but you also want to understand how you want to grow your personal life. There's a segment of nothing but mindset information you can listen to in your car on your way to work or doing things around the home. There's an entire, maybe over 60 hours of nothing but mindset work. And I'm always adding things to that. That is a bonus to the Academy. And so those are some ways that I can support you. All of those links will be in the comments for wherever this particular video finds you. And that's my take on today. Peace and abundance. Listen, what perspective is running your life?